Oblique and Kishian graced the track yesterday with an unexpected outcome. You know what? Let's jet into this story. Welcome to Jet. So first and foremost, before we get into why both athletes' performances were never expected, give thanks to Yahwa and Yahushua. Yes, man. Oblique Seville looks very impressive over training recently. He was running the 200 meter and he flew past everyone like a massive tornado sweeping across the track. He looked impressive recent over the 200 meter clocking a time of 20.17 and better over the 400 meters in a time of 47.44. He will be a serious threat to everyone. And to confirm this, yesterday at the Adidas Atlanta City Games, he ran the 200 meter with a personal best of 19.96 the two jamaicans who is predicted to be the next usian bolt shot the jamaican fans with bittersweet results they both competed at different meets but before we look at kishian's race let's first take a look at obliques oblique lined up in the 200 meter running the race in a dead straight line oblique started very evenly and was going well looking comfortable at about 100 meters to go Seville started to pull away, but he was chased down by Richards. But Oblique Seville took the win in a PB of 19.96 into a minus 1.1 win. Oblique said this after the race. That's what the reaction made. Well, uh, um, I didn't come over here to expect this time, but I'm um, seeing that time. I'm so excited to show that I'm in, I'm in good shape. I love that. Are you looking to dabble a little more in that 200 now? I'm not sure. I've decided to my coach. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Now, you are no, you are fourth. You've got fourth back to back in these last world championships, Oblique. That just means something big is upon us. So, talk about what you're looking to build going into Paris 2024. Well, for the past two years, um, the championship has made me, I have learned from them. Mm -hmm. So, for this season, I see where I made my mistakes in the past. So, now it's just to get it together. I love it. Big up Jamaica. Big up you, Oblique. Congratulations on your win here in Atlanta. All right. Thanks. Big up the Coach Mills. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time running a 200 meter on this street. And to be honest, it's very, it's very hard because it's hard to distribute your speed and know where and where you should make a move. So it was kind of a bit difficult for me, but I just used my experience from the 200 meter on the turn to execute my race. Yes, it actually it was a little, bit, um, a little bit different because your body will tell you when you actually pass a 100 meter and 150, so you know we are hurting the race. Well, I just, I just, because in my mind, just to hold my form because I was, a lot of people started taking over my body and I was just trying pushing and pushing through the race. My strategy was just, I was holding a little bit, but I have to distribute my speed, I have to know when and where to make my moves to, to, to execute a good race. I believe Seville is running the 200 meters to improve on his top end speed but Jet believes he could do the double at this Paris Olympics and you never know what could happen. Now let's turn to Kishian Thompson. Kishian is the fastest Jamaican on paper over the 100 meters in 10.85. My colleague looked back at his progress about eight months ago to see where he's coming from. Watch this. But the question is have we found a new Usain Bolt from the MVP camp? <laughs> Well, maybe we have because the new sensation is Kishane Thompson. No relation to Ilian Thompson, but his top end speed is magnificent. Very, very good. At the Diamond Diamond League, um, there is Akeem Blake um, tripped over Kishane Thompson. Demonstrate how strong he is with his top end speed. Smashing in a time of 9.853. The fastest time run by a Jamaican this season. And a personal best for the young MVP star. Well done. To Saturday at the Jamaica French Foray meet. Kishian lined up in the, in the 100 meters. But disaster struck. He pulled up in the middle of the race. We know Kashian is injury prone, which is why MVP do not race him that much. However, we wanted to see him gracing the track for the first time this Olympic season, but it was not to be. We hope and pray he's fine and it is nothing serious to prevent him competing in the, in the national trials. 
with his bullet start it was clear that kishi and thompson was going to put down a fast time look at the start again no one was able to stay with him it shocked every jamaican because everyone wanted to see him run oblique seville looks majestic each time he steps on the track but we don't know his true speed over 200 meters until he raced against a qualified field he may not run the 200 meters but his top end speed looked extraordinary he would definitely medal over the 100 meters and jet believes he may take the gold looking at his improvement over a few weeks anyways we wish him both all the best so what is your view were you shocked to see civil pb and disappointed that we were not able to see kishian season opener do you believe he will be a serious threat to anyone over 100 and 200 meters this olympics write your comments below man and let's have a discussion about this those of you who've forgotten to subscribe you know please touch the like button smash the subscribe button and touch up the bell and remember to share with your friends and family so here we are going now we are gonna jet off you know